Old Man's War by John Scalzi is a funny and riveting work of military science fiction that follows one John Perry, an old man who, on his 75th birthday, visits his wife's grave and then enlists in a future version of the army called the Colonial Defense Forces. This is a future in which the elderly of Earth are afforded the opportunity to have their consciousness transplanted into a much younger, genetically enhanced, essentially biologically immortal body in exchange for two years of service in the CDF, protecting the disparate human colonies of space from hostile alien races, of which we learn there are many. In just over 300 pages, Scalzi manages to craft this epic universe that is equal parts intriguing and frightening, while the narrative manages to be both hilarious and heartbreaking. John Perry gravitates toward a group of good-natured characters who collectively dub themselves the Old Farts, and these characters, in their brief time on the page, are remarkably well-realized and lovable in their quirks and their heroism, and it is a real joy to get to know them. Throughout his service, Perry develops deep, almost familial bonds with his fellow soldiers while his platoon encounters various alien threats, each one presenting unique tactical challenges and difficult moral dilemmas. Scalzi is able to deftly combine sequences of thrilling, sometimes visceral action with these moments of profound, heartfelt introspection. And the story effectively examines themes of aging, the inherent value of life, what it means to be human, and the consequences of war. This is the second of Scalzi's books that I've read, the first being uh, Fuzzy Nation. And his fast-paced narrative style is once again on full display here. The book hits the ground running and just maintains this breakneck speed the whole way through, and it makes it impossible to put down. Each chapter unfolds with new surprises and the book is broken up into three parts and the end of each act delivers a brilliant, impactful, game-changing revelation. The book concludes in a way that is simultaneously satisfying and ingeniously sets up subsequent entries in the series. I, uh, I read this book out loud to my wife before bed each night, and it made us laugh out loud and brought us to tears sometimes in the span of a single chapter. It's, it's emotional, it's clever, it's exciting, and I can't recommend it enough. So I finished Old Man's War in December of 2023. And the first book that I read in 2024 was its follow-up, The Ghost Brigades. This one follows the journey of the Special Forces Division of the CDF, known as the titular Ghost Brigades. These soldiers are created from the DNA of the dead, typically those individuals who enlisted but passed away before their consciousness could be transplanted into their new bodies. And they are all given surnames of different Earth scientists, such as Einstein, Pauling, and Curie. The focus of this novel is primarily on a new character, Jared Dirac, who has been imbued with the consciousness of a traitor to humanity named Charles Bhutan, who has been working clandestinely uh, to purposefully facilitate a war between humanity and three 
formidable alien foes. What unfolds is another well-paced narrative of Dirac's struggle with identity and purpose as he slowly uncovers who he really is. And this book invokes and mirrors themes from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and dives into the ethical quandaries of creating life, particularly for utilitarian purposes. Like the first book, this one questions what it means to be human, though more through the lens of to what extent our memories and experiences shape who we are. There's a, also a nod to Proust's In Search of Lost Time, which was a surprising intertextual reference that adds a philosophical dimension to the whole thing. Dirac's story intertwines with the return of Jane Sagan, a beloved character from the first book, and this adds a pleasant continuity to the series. With this book, I would officially consider myself to be a Scalzi fan, as this one just allowed me to immerse myself more in the old man's war universe. Now, I've seen and can certainly understand some of the criticisms leveled against the book for its somewhat heavy-handed use of exposition. No doubt there are moments when the narrative will altogether pause for sometimes lengthy expositional passages. But as a fan who is deeply invested in this world that Scalzi has created, I personally found that these passages often just served to enrich my understanding of this complex universe. And I was fully engrossed in these granular details, though I recognize that not everyone will be. Overall, I would say that the Ghost Brigade stands apart from Old Man's War for its cohesive plot. Ghost Brigades has a singular plot that is very exciting, and Old Man's War's second act is more of a series of war vignettes. But Ghost Brigades also unexpectedly engages with these classic literary themes, and that also helps it to stand apart. While it is certainly not without its minor flaws, it is nonetheless a fantastic piece of science fiction and a very worthy follow-up to Old Man's War. So I'm currently about 100 pages or so into the next book, The Last Colony, and I am loving it so far. I plan to continue reviewing this series, which has six books in total, and I will continue reviewing them two books at a time. I'm also currently in the process of reading every Alistair Reynolds book, uh, in publication order, and I've got quite a few plans for 2024 in the pipeline, so stay tuned. Have you read Old Man's War or The Ghost Brigades? If so, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.